Okay, I am back, and in my last part of this Windows 7 video series, I did the installation. And now I want to do a little exploration of the start menu and see what new stuff there is to see. So I clicked on the nice little start icon and it looks very similar to what we saw in Vista. You've got your quick access items like your personal folder, your documents, pictures, music, games, computer management, the control panel, devices and printers, default programs and help and support. It looks like they have done a little bit of difference here with uh, shutting down, restarting, suspending, etc. It used to be a couple different icons, but now it's just one menu that pops up to either switch user, log off, lock the computer, restart, or put it to sleep. Uh, Windows Media Center, so again with Windows 7 Ultimate you're certainly getting the Media Center. It's got calculator, sticky notes, the snipping tool, paint, remote desktop, magnifier, and solitaire as the initial little um, icons here. If I go into all programs, it looks incredibly clean. Um, there's really not a lot here. You've got your desktop gadget gallery, i.e. 64-bit and 32-bit, Windows DVD maker, the fax and scan, which who uses that, Windows Media Center, Media Player, Windows Update, and XPS Viewer for viewing digitally, signing, and setting permissions for those kind of documents. Your accessories, games, maintenance, and startup. Nothing's in startup, maintenance, uh, backup and restore, system repair disk, Windows Remote Assistance, and of course help and support. In games, looks like a lot of the same ones that you saw in Vista. Chess, Free Cell, Hearts, Backgammon, Checkers, these are internet-based games, uh, Mahjong, Minesweeper, Purple Place, which is a silly game, Solitaire, and of course Spider Solitaire. In your accessories, uh, a new thing I see in here is connecting to a network projector and connecting to a projector. Um, I don't remember those from before. A math input panel, and then some of your standard things like Notepad, Paint, the remote desktop connection, um, the Run, that's new. Um, I, of course you could just Type, type it in down here, I suppose, but um, your snipping tool, one of the, my favorite things about Vista was the snipping tool. Uh, the sound recorder, sticky notes, you can create little short handwritten or text notes. The sync center, explorer, word pad, and then of course um, some of your normal ac ease of access items for on-screen keyboard, etc. You've got your system tools, let's see what's new here. Um, the computer icon is new. You've got your normal stuff like the cleanup, the dis defragmenter, uh, private character editor to modify how a character is shown on the screen, a resource monitor, your system info and restore, and then uh, you know, your task scheduler and this Windows Easy Transfer to transfer files from one computer to another. Tablet PC looks very similar. You've got your input panel, the handwriting recognition, Windows Journal to create notes in your own handwriting. Um, that's kind of neat. I think that's new. I don't recall that before. And then the Windows PowerShell 2.0 comes with Windows 7. And you've got both the uh, x86 version and the 64-bit version of PowerShell, as well as the integrated scripting environment. So, so far what I've seen in the um, start menu, not a huge amount of new things, but I think the first test is let's go take a look in the control panel, because that's where I think we're going to find some brand new stuff.